Welcome back to Mark's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. Now I'm currently in Sydney and I'm sitting in the car park at Five Guys in Penrith. Now I have watched some reviews of this place or Five Guys the actual shop or, or chain of hamburger stores or whatever you want to call them and I said I'd never go to Five Guys because I believe they're really really expensive now I'm not sure if I'm going to just get a burger or meal deal I'm not really that hungry and I might just get a burger and we'll work out how much it costs and see what I've got I'm not really sure what I'm getting and then we'll do a review on the burger of five guys now I'm getting ready to have my wallet raped so let's see how we go and what the burgers are like see if they're worth the money maybe it's the best burger I've ever eaten let's go okay we're back I'm just sitting in the back of my van because there's no good place to sit out here I'm in the car park and we've got the goods I wasn't wrong when I was talking about a wallet raping we've just got a plain hamburger plain burger just a meat patty and salad and I've got the receipt here it costs $17.50 I'll show you that there just to let you know I'm not lying I'm not making it up they are selling a plain hamburger for $17 now I've taken a photo of the menu bought there a plain hamburger $17.50 a cheeseburger $19.50 a plain burger with bacon on it $20.50 and a plain burger with cheese and bacon on it $22.50 this is getting out of control people I don't think this place is going to last unless this is the absolute best burger that I've ever eaten in my entire life and apparently they don't do meal deals but they will sell you a small chips for $6.50 or large chips for $10.90 $10.90 for some fried potatoes okay let's try this burger here it is and it's wrapped in aluminium foil that's a bit weird that's the burger there it's got a bit of weight to it and they do this weird thing so you order your burger which is just a plain burger with a meat patty on it nothing else nothing and then you get to pick from all these different salads they've got like chilies and all different stuff pickles I'll pick pickles grilled mushrooms lettuce tomato and onion I think that's it and you don't pay extra for those but I mean how much salad do you want on your burger oh hang on you get two meat patties on it okay so that is it there it smells pretty good they've got pickles and lettuce and tomato two meat patties and the grilled mushrooms on the bottom there I'm not sure if the camera's going to show that up and I'm going to keep this foil here just to um, stop the drips let's try a mushroom okay it's good let's try some meat there's virtually no flavor in the meat it's just some mince meat fried up it doesn't even taste like it's got salt and pepper on it uh, this is interesting let's try it it's really really tasteless it's got no taste it's got no salt and pepper it needs pepper it needs salt it needs garlic powder it needs onion powder that you're supposed to put in burger patties it's got no taste it is literally plain unflavored mincemeat that's grilled it's very greasy too it tastes very greasy how are these people justifying this the best thing on it is the pickles these are just plain butter pickles that you buy at Coles that's literally what they are just plain butter pickles the lettuce is not real fresh 
It's a little bit soggy. It's really greasy. It's not even dripping greasy like a burger is supposed to be. It is supposed to have barbecue sauce on it, as you can see down the bottom there. I have not seen any barbecue sauce. Ah, there's the tiniest amount of barbecue sauce on the bun that you can't even taste. The onions aren't fried. There's not many onions on there and they're raw. The barbecue sauce goes on the meat, not on the bun. Like, really? This has got to be, I'd say, the worst burger we've had so far. I mean, we've had a burnt hamburger from Foster. Can't remember what the place is called. I'll put it up on the screen. We had uh, another pretty sad burger from Taree, from another place there. I'll put that name up on the screen as well. And I'll link those videos down below for you. They're probably the two worst burgers we've had on this whole channel in the search for our best burger. And this is literally by a long shot the worst burger that we have had and the most expensive one I really don't even want to finish this I'm going to finish it because I paid $17.50 I definitely would not be getting another one and if this was $5 I'd probably just throw it away and get something else but I've committed I'm not a quitter I'm going to finish it I don't know what these people are thinking. I really don't know what they're thinking. It, I mean, this should really go back. You should take this back. I should take this back and throw it at them. I should literally walk in there and throw this at whoever cooked it behind the counter there. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm throwing that. I've eaten all the meat in honour of the animal that got killed to provide the meat to us. I'm not a vegan, I love eating meat, but I believe if you're going to kill something, you might as well eat it. The poor thing's died and given its life, and these people have destroyed it. Rather than making something delicious and tasty, they've made this. That is the biggest disappointment. And to think I've driven 400 k's to eat this, I mean, I didn't just come to eat this, but out of all the stuff I could have eaten, I wasted $17.50 on this that I can never get back. Wow. I can't even score this. Like, what do I give it? Do I give it a zero, which seems petty? I can't give it a two or three because that would suggest that it's got some sort of taste. I think it's got to be a zero. There's no way I'd buy this again. Like, if I was starving, I might just get a plain bread roll from Coles and eat that before I ate that. It's disgusting. It is very sad. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. I think this is the first one I've ever given in my entire life. Now, if you have tried Five Guys and you've got a different opinion to me, I'd love to hear it. But uh, my prediction is this place is going to go bust. There's no way this is going to last. I mean, people go there once, they'll never go back. It's just stupid. So you were here to witness it, our first 0 out of 10 ever. And like I said, if you've got a different opinion, leave it down below. I'd love to hear it. If you think these burgers are great, honestly, I don't know. I don't know how you can. They're greasy. They're, they're an insult to the animal that was murdered to make this burger. I mean, it's terrible. Now, if you enjoyed this video in the least little bit, and please watch it to the end, because I need to get some money back on this. Do me a favor, give me a big thumbs up, and don't forget to smash, smash, smash that subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. Now I'm going to have to find something else to eat to get this taste out of my mouth. It is just grease. But it's tasteless grease. It's not even, I don't know what they use. It's, it's greasy, but it's got no flavor. I don't know. It takes a special sort of talent to make something this bad, I think. So maybe we should give them some credit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.